Here is an example of an obdurate individual, one who is stubbornly persistent in wrongdoing, who is hardened in feelings because of their pride, who is resistant to persuasion or softening influences. Such was Asa, king of Judah. And as it is written here in 2 Chronicles chapter 16, verse 12, and Asa, or Asa, however you might pronounce his name, in the thirty and ninth year of his reign was diseased in his feet until his disease was exceedingly great. Yet, and this is the point, in his disease, he sought not to the Lord Yahweh, but to the physicians. And Asa slept with his fathers and died in the one and the fortieth year of his reign. And he buried him in his own sepulchres, which he had made for himself in the city of David, and laid him in the bed which was filled with sweet odors and diverse kinds of spices prepared by the apothecary's art, and they made a very great burning for him. And such was the fate of a very hardened man of a very obdurate man who was hardened in his feelings towards Yahweh Bahashem Yahushai, towards calling upon the true and only names of Yahweh Bahashem Yahushai. Shalom, all praises, blessings, glories, and honors be unto. Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Racha Kodash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who have taught me this truth, as well of men of like mind. Shalom wa Chasad, which means peace and mercy to the elect of the nation of Israel. Whom are you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, and Israelite foreigners of the sea land of our forefathers Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob whom are scattered here in America which is Babylon the Great and abroad to you I say Shalom and Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Ratazah this lesson is edifying there are many obdurate Israelites within the house of Israel that will soon receive excruciating judgments from Yahweh Bahashem Yahushai because of their hard headedness, because of their hardened feelings and their stubborn persistence in wrongdoings towards Yahweh Bahashem Yahushai. And his words that are resistant to persuasion of the scriptures, that are resistant to the corrections of the scriptures. Such individuals will be dealt with by Yahweh Bahashem Yahushai through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Yahushai accordingly very soon in the near future. For this is the year of Yahweh Bahashem Yahushai turning up. And the Moesai will turn up, man. He's going to turn up on a lot of you scoffers and scorners and false prophets out there within the house of Israel that continue to mock and blaspheme his name and his son's name and their word and the Holy Spirit. You will all be dealt with severely and accordingly. And those that follow you will fall. Jeremiah Chapter 4, verse 22. For my people is foolish 
they have not known me. Why? Because two-thirds of the nation of Israel are wise to do evil. Because all they know is evil. All they know is the things that are contrary to the principles of the scriptures. Because they are of the world and the world loves its own as it is written. They have no knowledge of who they are and when they are told, they disregard. It is written that the ox knoweth its owner and the ass is master's crib, but Israel doth not know. My people doth not consider. What don't they know and what don't they consider? They don't know who they are as a nation of people. They don't know who their enemies are with the chief of them being the so-called Caucasian race. Whom are the Edomites? Whom are, according to Malachi chapter 1 verse 4, the border of wickedness? Therefore they are the wicked. They don't know the true and only names of their powers, respectively. Yahweh being the name of the Father. Yah means he, Hawa means exist. Yahweh, he is, he exists. And Yahweh Shai being the true and only name of his only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior. Yah means he, Hawashah means delivers or saves. Yahawashai. He delivers, he saves. The name of the Father is not God or Jehovah, nor is the name of the Son Jesus Christ. The Father's name is Yahweh, and the Son's name is Yahawashai. And our people don't know these very important names. Because they don't consider. Because they are foolish. And reading on in Jeremiah chapter 4 verse 22, they have not known me. Why? Because they have not been given the knowledge. Because the word knowledge means to know. They have not been given the knowledge of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh which is the knowledge of the scriptures, which begins with the fear of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh according to the book of Proverbs, chapter 1, verse 4, or 1, verse 7. They are sottish, which means stupid children, and have none understanding. What is understanding? According to the book of Job, chapter 28, verse 28. To depart from evil is understanding. And also, according to the book of Proverbs, chapter 9, verse 10, the knowledge of the holy is understanding. And so, our people have none understanding because they are wise to do evil. And so, they don't depart from evil because they are foolish, they are sottish. They don't consider but rather, they embrace it, they indulge in it, they dance in it, because they have not known Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Because if they would have had known Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, they would have had departed from evil. And the Lord said to do no evil in the book of Sirach, chapter 6 or 7, I believe. If my memory serves me correct, he says, to do no evil, so shall no harm or evil come unto thee and because our people are wise to do evil likewise will evil which means bad times e means time ill means bad come upon them because they are wise to commit idolatry sodomy bestiality eating abominable things that are contrary to the principles of the scriptures because they are wise to do all these things so will they receive the judgments that the Lord will appoint over them during the times of Jacob's trouble in their distress, in their anguish. But to do good, they have no knowledge. Because once one acquires the knowledge of the Lord, they will then acquire the wisdom of the Lord, which will encourage them to not go against the principles of the scriptures using wisdom 
they will be wise unto salvation and not wise unto damnation. But to do good, they have no knowledge in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. But to do good, they have no knowledge. And that's why they're going to be destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Why? Because amongst the Lord's people are found evil men. Jeremiah 5, verse 26. For among my people are found wicked men. Wicked. Wicked men. They lay wait. As he that set up snares, they set a trap, they catch men. And that's what niggas do. That's what two thirds of the nation of Israel do. They catch men. In Proverbs chapter 1. Verse 31. Therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own ways. And be filled with their own devices. And so they will receive judgment for all the wicked things for they are wicked and they are wise to do evil that they have done throughout their lives respectively in this generation they will know death after pain by reason of the second death which will be the destruction that the Lord will bring upon this man's kingdom by way of thermonuclear fire Hosea Chapter 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. And again, what is knowledge? The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, because the Lord has put the Spirit upon him to reject knowledge. Refer to Isaiah, the sixth chapter. I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me, and only the nation of Israel. Really, Concern the men, because only the men of the nation of Israel can be priests of the nation of Israel. It has always been so, according to our law, according to our customs. But in this generation, only the elect of the nation of Israel are spiritually, beginning with the men, and really with the men, are spiritual priests. And how are we spiritually priests? Romans, the 12th chapter. We offer up our bodies as living sacrifices. Also, the sacrifice of our lips, the things we say, the things we do, how we conduct ourselves amongst each other, amongst those that are without wisdom within the world. <laughs> because the Lord is always watching. Every move we make, everything we do, Everything we say, how we say it, when we say it, where we say it, to whom we say it to. All these things are being recorded. And that's why we live on edge. Because one wrong move spiritually will cost us dearly. Because the Lord is no respect of person. Therefore, we have to be very mindful how we move in this thing. When you're in the world, walk in wisdom towards them that are without. In so doing, you give no offense that the ministry be not blamed. Don't walk around out there with your fringes on and all that, trying to be super Israelite, man. The whole world doesn't need to know that you know that you're, an Is you're a Hebrew Israelite. Use wisdom. Use wisdom. I will also reject thee that thou shalt be no priest to me. So two thirds of the nation of Israel will be no, the men will be no spiritual priest. Because the job of the priests that were from the, the Levitical line back in antiquity was to take the sacrifices from Israel and offer it up to the Lord Yahweh for the remission of sins. And who became our ultimate sacrifice, our Lord Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach. So, the law of sacrifice was done away with through our Lord Yahweh Shai. <laughs> okay, the law of animal sacrifice for the remission of sins. All that was done away with by our Lord and through our Lord Yahweh Shai's sacrifice. Because he became that ultimate sacrifice. He became that lamb 
for he was that lamb without blemish for the remission of all of the nation of Israel's sin. And thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, I will also forget thy children. Hosea chapter 5 verse 15. Pardon me, I will also I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense and seek my face in their affliction, they will seek me early. And when they do so, after finally giving in to their obdurate nature, their hard headed, resistant, and stubbornly persistent in wrongdoing natures, it'll be too late. In their affliction, they will seek me early. Only the elect of the nation of Israel wouldn't have seek the Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai early. But as for two thirds of the nation of Israel and false prophets, they're going to be pretty much uh, left out there in, in the elements to suffer uh, perdition. Prophet chapter 1 and those that follow them. Verse 24 Because I have called and ye refuse, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. Why? Because they pulled away their shoulders, as it is written in the book of Zechariah or Zephaniah. But ye have said it, I, not all my counsel, I would not of my reproof. I will, also, I will also laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. When your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind. When distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. So two-thirds, when they try to seek the Lord, they won't find the Lord. Because by that time, the Lord is going to hide himself. Last scripture, Micah chapter 3 verse 4. Then shall they cry unto the Lord Yahweh, but he will not hear them. He will even hide his face from them at that time as they have behaved themselves ill in their doing. So judgment is coming for all scoffers and scorners and false prophets and those that are obdurate in nature. Those that are stumbling, persistent in wrongdoing, hardening their feelings and resistant to persuasion or soft influences, just as Asa was. And many other uh, evil and wicked inside joke characters of, of Israel. That's evil and that's wicked. <laughs> hey, so with that, man, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. I say shalom to the elect.